Oh, welcome again. My name is Maite Del Angel, and I'm gonna do a shoe. <laughs> this this is supposed to be uh, the demo for uh, soft law Miami the past April, but well, we were a little busy. Well, now we are here, so we are going to use uh, rice cereal, and we are going to use uh, the uh, the sugar sheets. The with some amazing design the you can find I don't know how many design do we have uh, Debbie in your we brain? have over 2,000 different images that are all licensed for edible use so you can use them with anything that's edible it's not Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck however just so you know imágenes free más de 2,000 imágenes que ustedes pueden descargar de la página de Icin Images uh, uh, libres para usar Claro que no son imágenes copyright, ¿verdad? Pero son amazing imágenes. And I think it's on sale right now, too. I'll go and check and I'll post it below if it is, but I think uh, it is. Oh, beautiful, and it's on sale. We like so, sales. I already have my, my rice cereal base. This is a, a, a template that I just found, you know? Normally, I just made my own templates and I'm just trying to figure it out how to put it in, in 3D. Okay, so I just found this like a, a nice tall wedge shoe and I just make it the size that I, I wanted and then I just made like a square of this is homemade rice cereal um, block. <laughs> Uh, there is not like a specific recipe for this. It's just like marshmallow and a little bit of um, white chocolate and the rice uh, cereal, you know, mixing. And then you compact it and when it's cold, so now you can carve whatever shape you need. Very carefully, right, when our syringe knife. So you start just shaping. Since I have my template, well, this is a smaller block, but since I have my template, I just put my template in the side and then I just start carving the shape, okay? And then when I have my roughly shape, I take, this is so, so expensive. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> From the dollar store uh, tool. And I just start like shaving the rough edges. You know, and then start having a more a smooth size from the rice cereal. Obviously, if it's a cake, I mean, you do the same. You start in a with a block of cake, the width and the and the height that you need to make your shape. In this case, the shoe, and then you start carving down a little bit the same way. Obviously, you don't need to use this in the cake. <laughs> Just try to make it smooth um, the cuts. And then in this case, see, I just cut my shape and I, I uh, sand it a little bit to make it more smooth. And I cover it just with white chocolate. The, the candy mats, just uh, straight, just to give more strength. So this is all Rice crispy. Obviously this will be like a topper on a cake, right? And I cover it all with chocolate. If it's a small piece, normally I don't use chocolate or nothing like to cover with. If I use these small like squares um, of Rice Krispie, I don't use anything. I just try to make it as smoother, smoother as possible. <laughs> and then when this is already set, uh, again, my expensive tool. <laughs> Uh, tomo mi, mi, mi herramienta and I just try to soft the rough edges from the chocolate. If I didn't do a good job, like I, I didn't, <laughs> just start taking out the extra. These uh, kind of toppers are very, um, um, uh, how you say, like a wow factor, you know, because you're looking for some realistic um finish so but at the, at the same time they are super easy to make just have a little bit of patience 
find some templates. So I can I carve my size, right? And then I took my the 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 shape of the shoe and I just put it on top. And then I just give the shape, right? Just first the square and then the, I shape the 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 shape of the of the shoe. Any questions? <laughs> Are you are you there? Debbie. <laughs> well, I guess she's there. Everyone is there and you can hear me. I think I lose uh Debbie. Are you there? Just let me know. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I just need to know that we still are live. <laughs> yep, we're still live. <laughs> Perfect. So uh, for my friends in TikTok, les comento rápido que este es Rice crispy que hice con bombón, bombón, chocolate y el Rice crispy, ¿ok? Y lo puse en un cuadro, lo dejé uh, reposar, se hizo un poquito durito y cuando ya está así, tomo mis plantillas, ¿verdad? Y empiezo a darle la forma, ayudándome con las plantillas a la forma. Y después la forma de los lados y obviamente después la forma del zapato arriba. Esto mismo de, de, de la forma lo puedes utilizar con pastel. Ob obviamente vas a hacer el, el, el alto y el ancho que necesitas con pastel. Lo, deja, lo metes al refrigerador por un par de horas para que esté un poquito más sólido y lo puedas recortar. Y ya después ya tienes tu forma. O Hiroki. And now we are going to cover this in fondant. Let me just clean a little bit my table from all the rice crispy chocolate that I just chain. So you cover this, you give it this a second coat of chocolate. You can put it straight your your sugar sheets. Okay, these are the sugar sheets that it came with the cellophane in the back, and then you print it with the edible print, and then I have this amazing, beautiful. Uh, image that we say is free and the website icingimages.com and I think they are in, uh, on sale all the image okay so but I'm gonna cover my shoe with fondant that I have here and I'm gonna do the panel the paneling technique Hope everyone is good. It is super hot. Okie dokie. So I'm gonna take my, where I put my, okay, my cornstarch. Don't mind my content that is all green because, hello. <laughs> Can you hear me, sweetie? Yep. Okay, now you can. Good. Okay. I'm like, Mate, Mate. Oh my God, what happened? I hit the wrong button. Oh. <laughs> As usual. Oops. Oops. Yeah, I was talking and I was like, where is Daddy? But I didn't know if I, I was still alive. <laughs> yeah, you were fine. It was just me. I just caused trouble. <laughs> yeah, you like cause, causing trouble. Hey, do you, did you know that we saw fondant cheaters now? Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Oh, we love to have a, a fondant cheaters. Yeah, and they're not too big, so they can actually fit on your counter. And they're affordable, like in the low 2000s, which I think, you know, is pretty darn yeah. amazing for those. I need to look into one of those because my shoulder will appreciate. <laughs> In the time, in the time it saves you, it, and yeah. it's it's so cool to watch it go. I still have fun with it, um, even though I've used it many times, and I don't even use fondant because I don't decorate, but I have fun putting it through. Um, and it also does doughs, like cookie dough and all that good stuff. I'll put the link up for everybody. I think we have a sale. I didn't know that you can use it in both. both oh, yeah. Uh, sports, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, that, that's nice. So let me tell you that I never, 
use a funnel shader before February and may or may I not gonna be in a in a TV show. <laughs> but for the time that you tell, I have to cover it in less than I don't know, 15 minutes, <laughs> a huge cake. So honestly, oh, no. the, the shader was like my saving. Yes. Yeah, I like it because like, especially for people who are watching who do cookies or if you, it works with any kind of dough and I hear it works with fudge, but I have not tried it yet. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, I'm just making sure uh, the, the circumference of my shoe and then the high, the high, high. So to make sure that I have enough fondant to cover, I'm gonna panel first my shoe. So, I have my fondant ready. I'm just going to make a straight one side. Hopefully I didn't cut too much <laughs> because it happens barely. Okay. And I'm gonna just flip over and I'm going to put, instead of use um, sugar glue or, or, yeah, sugar glue, I'm just gonna put um, Crisco that I have or shortening in this little container because this allow or sea it's a it's a glue but uh putting the the um, crisco allow me to rearrange my fondant without uh like a stick from the first time you know so i can just move around if i need to so let's just make like panel and then just cover our shoe. We, we will do the same if it's a uh, cake, okay? Where could I? I'm just going to try to cover all my shoe. And what kind of fondant do you prefer? Well, uh, this is satin ice, you know, this is the more common that you can find. And there is uh, the Wilton brand. That's the most the most common that you can find, like super easy. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this particular one is uh, the regular satin ice. There I uh, will normally use to cover cakes because gotcha. um, the workability is uh, easy to do it. Mm -hmm. But if you're gonna do some figurines, they release this new tropical fondant. That is yeah. super, super good in my particular case to make figures. Yeah, many people, it just depends work. where you live as to what works for you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's, I, I'm talking just from my experience and my, my, my side of the town. <laughs> yeah, it's just something that you have to decide kind of for yourself as to what works best. Um, yeah, it depends on the project that you are doing. So in this case, uh, it's easy to work with the with the satin ice, and it will dry fast. You know, that's the other good thing that you need to think about when you are going to cover with sugar sheets. So you need, well, personally, obviously, I always want to do my ticks and trips. Uh, my tricks and tips <laughs> based on my experience okay so for me it's easy to apply the sugar sheets and something that is more a uh, little dry and more sturdy and if you have like a fondant that is super soft or it lasts longer to dry sometimes it's, it's a little harder to shade the the paper around So I'm just covering the sides. Saludos, saludos a mis amigos de TikTok. I'm just saying hi to my friends. <laughs> you see? So in this case, I mean, I think it, I think like a little late, you know, but you can print uh, in your sugar sheets the, how you say the, the this uh finish the uh, matte paper or, are you talking 
core or come, how you say like the brown thingy like, like for the bottles that you sealed <laughs> the wine bottles <laughs> El I'm, I'm... well you can clean, like... <laughs> sorry I, I will i will find out the name eventually cork eh? cork yes cork <laughs> so like you can bring like a cork um uh, image in your sheet or the nice little like like uh threads you know for these kind of shoes like summer shoes it will be interesting because it, it will look more realistic right yeah so now that i have my side i'm gonna cover the top same with fondant uh if you want to combine you know like mix, mix and match colors of the sheet obviously i will use maybe pink or green or but i don't have it any in that moment in this moment <laughs> <laughs> so i'm just gonna go with the white you can always uh, paint or airbrush on top sorry i didn't i didn't uh did a good job cleaning my bench <laughs> now that I have my template, I can use my template to cut the top part, okay? Just try to make it even, my fondant, and I'm going to take my template. I'm going to make it a little wider, but I have the, the, the shape, and I can always adjust a little bit. So cut in, and I mean, uh, this shoes is kind of like kind of large, <laughs> but you can do this like a smaller and make it both both shoes. And now it's got a lot of sole though. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I don't like to reject. <laughs> and then I didn't glue this, but now in this case I can use just water. See, it's not like a specific hard shape to cover. So I just use water now in this case. You see, the same thing that it depends of, of the project, you can choose your fondant. The same apply with the glue that you are using to attach all these pieces. Sometimes you can use piping gel, sometimes you can use um, water sugar glue or like in this case the first uh, shortening it's all about having having uh, knowing the characteristics of each product so you can use use it at the best right now i'm just adjusting the sides to cover my shoe And now I, I hear I can start doing some uh, fun details. I can just go with my my stitchy tool around. That's so easy. Yeah, <laughs> these kind of details make it. See? Yeah. Make the difference, these kind of details. So now, now that I have my basic shape, now I can cover it with my sugar sheets. So she, those, the sheets that she's uh, using were the printed ice, icing sheets from icing images used on an um, icing images edible printer just this regular uh, premium icing sheet and she printed an eye design on it. Um, yeah. I posted the link earlier um, and those are just patterns. Um, it's a huge collection, a huge library. The subscription is actually half price and there's, uh, gosh, over 2000 different images. They're a lot of fun. Yeah, so this is on the icing images. Que tú puedes encontrar estos patrones en su página web eh, y, y si tú tienes tu, tu, eh, 
tu impresora comestible, con tinta comestible, tú los puedes imprimir. And yes, you can use the coupon with a half price sale, by the way. Oh, and puedes usar un cupón y tienes la mitad de, de descuento, 50%. Okay, now we are going to attach the sugar sheet. Kind of the same paneling, paneling technique. Obviously, I know that you say that you have a longer sheet. Am I right? Yes. Say that one more time, I'm sorry. Glad that you have a longer sheet, so this is the longest. No, we actually have a legal size as well. Um, yeah. But um, iDesigns actually has a, um, a it's, it can actually create seamless borders for you. So you can select the size of your pattern and it'll allow you to like print, um, if you print the same exact sheet twice, you can actually match them up edge to edge. See? Yeah. We, can, we can do magic with image, I've seen images products. We can do magic. So I'm going to, <laughs> roughly, I'm going to mark. This is an edible marker. Just the side, the the uh, the cellophane side. So I can just cut my shape before. I mean, I can do it after, but if this uh, save me a headache, <laughs> I wanna do it. So I just gonna cut. I'm gonna adjust it later, but. You see, like it's so easy to cut and shape the way that you need it. Just a scissors and love and find the the line. <laughs> so now this is another uh, decision <laughs> that you have to make to attach sugar sheets to fondant. You can use water. You can use piping gel, you can use uh, sugar glue. And in my particular case today, I'm gonna use shortening as well. And let me tell you why, okay? It is super humid in Texas. So when we cover or use a sugar sheets in cakes and then put it in the, in the fridge again, you know, to chill, this particular, um, fridge that we have in the business and the in the bakery makes a lot of humidity a lot so if we don't attach properly our, our sugar sheet is going to bubble obviously and then you gonna have these huge bubbles that you can smooch but you can you can uh, mess your your paper so i find out that using um shortening as a glue we kind of um make a thin layer uh how you say cover from humidity yeah so it, it kind of it kind of protects it gives a barrier is what it's doing yeah, yeah, exactly exactly it gives a barrier from the humidity and it attached perfectly well no issues no bubbles and even when there are small small pieces i brush just here, this, I brush like regular oil, like canola oil on top. Yeah, so you can do that. I protect twice my, my, my sugar sheets. Yeah, the important thing is that it's a very thin layer. Um, yeah. And yeah, you did hear her right. You can put some Crisco or shortening over the top. It actually kind of makes it more vivid, but again, a very thin layer. <laughs> Just not much like a, to protect your your uh, image. So as you can see, I'm just adjusting my paper. And the good thing that using uh, shortening is that you can just remove as many times as you need your paper. Si esta es uh, manteca, es manteca vegetal. They they are asking me, you know. So now it's like, you see, and if I need to adjust again, I can just remove like carefully my piece and adjust again. If you use uh, water or sugar glue, even piping gel, you cannot do that because it's water and then I must immediately uh, kind of start solving the, the sugar. For, for this particular work, I suggest 
highly suggest <laughs> use a, a shortening. So since my this top part is not like perfectly straight, I just make a tiny cut and then I just kind of fold it here. It's okay, we could just cover with uh, some fondant or honestly with this design, you don't even notice that I make some cuts and Oh, you can't see it. Right? Yeah, so something okay. interesting about that pattern and several of our patterns, that same pattern we have under different color variations, um, which is kind of cool. So you can kind of um, figure out, you know, yeah. you can make different accents, I guess, is, is the yeah. best way to say you it. You can make it smaller or larger as well, right? Yeah, yep, definitely. And you can make them teeny tiny so you can't really see what the pattern is, but it creates the colors, this uses the same colors. So that's a great way to make an accent or really, really big. You know, you can go in either directions. So. Yeah, we, we, we were kind of like, we could have done like make uh, this size and then make another sheet with a larger one for another uh, details in the shoe, you know, just play with the same pattern in different sizes. Now let's do the front. I don't think that is going to, nope. But save your your leftovers because you never know that this tiny piece is going to save your life for another cake. <laughs> exactly. Always save your scraps. Um, we have lives that are just on what to do with your scraps. Yeah. Um, it's even the backing, even the backing of the sheet you save, and there's lots of things you can do with that too. Yeah. And then we are going to do the same for the front part. Where is my, okay. Now I'm gonna be more smart and marker backwards, <laughs> you know, in the in the cellophane that I could see. <laughs> so I'm gonna mark just roughly my, my shape. Definitely you can make a pattern of this with some wax paper or so just put it like that make a pattern and then just cut it if you are smarter than me <laughs> i like so, to use a lot of, i like to use a lot of templates because it's at, at the end it saves you time because you're save more money or more product if you have like a template and then you can make your cuts more accurate. And if it's something that you use regularly, yeah. um, then, and, and it's like the same shoe you do over and over and over again, you can actually create templates if you have an electronic cutter and, um, and save yeah. them and then just cut them out every time, almost like paper dolls for you. Like I love those paper dolls. Yeah, definitely uh, you can do that. So the same, I'm gonna peel off this, the plastic. Don't forget, always peel off your plastic. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it happens, you know, time to time. Save the scraps. <laughs> oh yeah, save it. No, even this, the, the cellophane thing is, you mm -hmm. can use for chocolate, for, for isomal, for a lot of things to make, to make buttercream transfers. Everything is yep. uh, used, well used. It works well even with heat. So the heat of the isomalt doesn't melt it. That's how great that is. So save them, save them, save them. Hey. So um, Mate, we actually, throughout COVID, we had to get rid of one of our printers because you know things were not always available like we would like them to. Mm -hmm. But we just were able to bring back our entry level printer system. So for people who have been waiting to be able to, uh, you know, they haven't been able to afford the higher priced ones, we actually were able to bring something lower priced in. So I was like, all oh, excited. Yeah. Becky yeah. loves her printer. This time, always good. Always. It's a good investment. Yeah. It's not that expensive. Expensive. No, expensive. How you say? <laughs> Affordable? <laughs> no, no, no. It's oh. not expensive. 
No, it's yeah, it's not, not expensive, which means it would be affordable. No, it's an investment. No, that you just go oh, it's an investment. Oh, gotcha. An investment, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, no. Maybe I'm, I'm tired from the traveling. The, my brain is not working properly. I mean, normally it doesn't. <laughs> yes, you have to use like, your printer. Al día de hoy, I'm like, oh, Dios mío. Okay, the same. Since my bottom part is a like little curve, I just make it tiny uh, cuts. And then I just start wrapping, putting more shortening and slowly adjusting the shape. See? Awesome. Now you used a premium icing sheet there. Um, have you used the cello sheets yet? Not yet. <laughs> okay. So we have several different edible papers that would work with that. Um, it's just kind of a preference. The icing sheet is the traditional sheet that yeah. um, has the nice white backing and it tastes like sugar. Um, and it's a great sheet. And we have a smart sheet that would work the same way, but it's sugar free. Um, and there's a textured backing to it. And then we also now have our cello sheets, which are um, what's cool about them is that there's a white one as well as a clear one. So you're gonna get very different effects, but they're shiny like cellophane. So oh, there's yeah. lots of options now. Yeah, even I told you in the smart sheet, you know, because yep. it's more like fabric wise. But well, that's the flex frost. And then the smart sheets can act that way as well, depending on the humidity. Yeah. So there is a lot of options. I seen images. Somebody is asking me in uh, TikTok is I seen images. I seen images.com. Dot com. Yeah. So I just going, I'm drawing a little bit of fondant to put like around like my soul to give them. I didn't bring a smoother. So let's try to make it smooth with this or more even instead of my fingers. Beautiful, see? Something oh, just flat. That. That's an yeah. awesome trick. <laughs> Something flat. Awesome. Yep. So now I'm gonna just rub a little bit of uh, Crisco and my fondant, and I'm going to go around on my sole shoe. But this moment, I will love to have uh, a board already for my shoe, or even if this is gonna be a topper, I will put um, a board on there in the shape of the, the bottom shoe, you know? Yes. But I didn't. <laughs> so now let's use this. Board. So instead of moving my feet, I just gonna move my board, so I won't uh, mess my my work already. The work that the, I already okay. did. So this is the the sole part, and now uh, in this small cake. <laughs> so I just took a piece of the leftover, you know, sheet, and I just put it like that. And it held pretty well. Let me tell oh, wow. you. I didn't finish this because it was just like you see, just any size you can do it. I I even this I just make it with a smaller, just the top part template, and I figure it out the the size and the height and everything. But today <laughs> we are going we are going fancier, okay? Because if we want to make like a, I mean, probably it will hold, make a, like a cross pad or something. But um, I want to show you another technique that I love, um, and I use it a lot in my cake, is make it, make a structure with wafer paper and wire. I don't know if you remember that I did like a heart. Mm -hmm. I go and then I pipe on top with the uh, royal icing. Yes. 
So now I'm gonna do the structure. I wanna, again, if this is just by eye, kind of eyeball it. So I wanna try to eyeball. So I think it's where I'm sitting here looking at what you're doing and my eyes wander to your stove where only a cake decorator or sugar artist would see a human face <laughs> laying on the stove. <laughs> Yeah. And I'm sitting here giggling to myself. He's looking at me. <laughs> he's, wa he's watching. And she's like, you are, you are doing an awful job today. <laughs> Did so you I'm name going, him? I know. I'm just going to roughly fold both together two pieces of wires that it gave me the high and the, the width that I need for this particular case. And I'm just going to stick it. Since this is Rice crispy, I mean, it has, it, it holds pretty well. Obviously, if it's a cake, uh, you need to be aware not to stick out the, the wires. And this is a floral wire. So this is already covered with this tiny film or paper or, or fabric. Now, I'm gonna take a piece of wafer, even this color match. <laughs> oh yeah. So I'm just gonna take- So that blue we no longer have available. Um, at, at, it's no longer available. Um, oh, that's what however, I to you I can- uh, which, which Only the pink. Available? Which ones? Pink and white. The only ones. Pink and white. Yeah, because in the in the class, the, uh, uh, somebody, may, uh, I mean, we use a pink one. And then uh, I, yeah, I, we I, have I, pink. Yeah, and I mentioned like, oh, it's a yeah. shame because there is no, no more colors anymore. And somebody says, yes, they are. And I was like, well, since I knew that there is no more colors. Yeah. The, the pink and the white are the only two colors we have. Unfortunately, the demand wasn't high enough and we need to keep our products very fresh. If we can't, I don't want to sell them. And the nice thing about wafer paper is you can print on it or you can airbrush it. Um, so you can still get the colors you want. Oh, you yeah, just yeah, have yeah. to work a little harder. <laughs> So now we can do like one or two layers of wafer. Maybe this has to be like a, a little smaller, but I can go just with one and make a, like a structure. Because uh, when uh, you place wafer paper with a uh, wire, it makes, it makes very sturdy. So I'm just going to put Little bit of water with, I know you have the paper portion, but I finish it and I don't have. <laughs> so I'm just going to use a little bit of water. <laughs> and I just make some. Cold. Yeah, with water, you just got to be careful. Yeah, just with water, water you just got to be careful not to add too much. That's all. Yeah, because it will melt. I know. That's why you, shall, you have to use the paper portion, but I don't have it. So I'm just folding you know, the wafer paper into the wire. Maybe I did this too high, but that's fine. You can always adjust. Oh. So now I, lay the, I let this dry. Even I can make in the back, you know, the back part of the shoe. Again, I just fold. Mm -hmm. dry. See, like now I bet you can could take this. Excuse me? I bet you could take the smart sheets and you wouldn't need the wire. Yeah. Well, no, I give, I give I'm, a, I'm betting. I don't I know for sure. I give options to people. So if they don't have the, hmm. the other paper, so now you can use, uh, you still can do your, your shoe, you know? Because sometimes people say, yeah. I don't have this specific supply or material or tool. I cannot. No, yet you can. <laughs> so I'm just using. 
And I just call it making it just a small cuts so I can wrap around my wire and use it as a structure. I'm gonna just, well, I could just leave it like that. I mean, I don't, I don't, I know that we don't have like a much time, but you know, maybe you want to do something crazy and go um, like gravity defined. So you make something like this, you know, when, when it go around your ankle and then just place it. And then you have your structure and just cover your structure with wafer paper. And then you can cover with the smart sheets as well. And it will give you like some kind of uh, gravity defined look. See? I yeah. That, uh, I was like, think let me push the button again. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Don't worry. I was telling you like, maybe you can have the like a wire and then just make the same structure like, like it was the ankle. And then you have oh, like, yeah. like gravity defined laces or something, you know, which is a yeah. one. But well, in this case, let's just keep with a, with a, a script. So now I can just cover. So this will give you a little more stability for your, for your uh, part of the shoe, you know. Gotcha. Said, this, also, this doesn't have anything, but you see, I didn't attach it properly, so it just moved. But for this, I can make some nice design, like wave, or if I have oh, this, yeah. this scissors of, if I'm going to add some flowers, like I'm going to do, so this gives you more stability. So you can also, Jesse Ann Riley was on, she says you can actually, um, you can make an isomalt twist for the um, for the, the lace going up. Yeah, isomalt or chocolate or the same, the same icing sheet. So you have your, your uh, structure to hold. Mm -hmm. Sturdy. Now I fancy words that I've been using with you today. <laughs> I just like how you say chocolate. Chocolate, yeah, I know. I was uh, sitting with Susan Trianos and I was, you know, talking and she's always like, oh, I love your accent. And I was, I'm glad because this is the only, the only one that I have. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. I pick yeah. up people's accents when I talk too long with them. So when I went down to Savannah, I had a southern draw for a little while. And that was only after two days. <laughs> yeah. That happened with my mom when she visited the family in Mexico. Mm -hmm. she this accent. <laughs> okay. I'm just wondering, okay? You can just have more time and, and make maybe a template or some, something. But I don't mm -hmm. know how, how much time do we have. We have 10 more minutes, but if you need to go longer, that's fine. Yeah, I just want to kind of finish it. I just want to put some flowers or... Okay, in this case, I'm going to just spray water as my glue. You know, it depends on what I need to do. So since I need to do this like faster and cover uh, faster the my sugar sheet, I can do it with my the spray bottle and do it like faster. I'm just gonna fold the sugar over my my piece of, of a structure here. Yeah, I think it was Jesse and there was another um, decorator that made, um, they baked the wafer paper which made it very stiff and and that would have been neat as well for the uh for the lace going up 
Yeah. They were made for twigs, but I could see them also being used in that way. Well, now you can look into other demos here in the in the Facebook page, your Facebook page. There is a ton of people that have been doing how many? Yeah, a year and a half, two years, Debbie? Mm -hmm. Doing this that live? Oh, it's been over two years now. It was since um, I want to say March or March, I think, uh, when COVID started. And so we had a lot, and, and you can. You want to learn more from what? From other. Say that one more time. No, but like if you learn, you want to learn from other uh, friends that have been in your in these demos. Just go over uh, Facebook and. Yep. Just scroll down and you're going to find a bunch of demos. It's super interesting. Yeah. Okay, you, can, now, you can Google Facebook Live icing images and you'll get everything. Every so many new things. So, what, well, like a 200? How many? Oh, I don't even know because <laughs> we were doing them twice a week. Yeah. Um, for well over what, 100, 125 um, weeks. So there's a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah. And during the summer, we've cut back to one, but we'll have some special presentations and we will probably bring back the second one in the fall because everybody's busy during the summer. Yeah. Yeah. And wedding season is coming again. and. So I'm just doing like a roughly, you know, with the same blue wafer paper. I just mm -hmm. got uh, like a petal uh, shape using a little bit of the, you can say pe paper potion that you can use. Mm -hmm. and just just making my, my uh, tiny flowers or shapes or, you know, so I can just add in my, to my, and give some. Look at this. Ta -da! <laughs> Yay. So I don't know if I question, suggestion. I know that it looks blue, but I mean, I'm, you have the idea, you know? Yeah, definitely. And you can make it your own. So I think it was Nicole Bendig Lamb that came up with the first version and then Jesse um, took it to the next level. And that's what, if I'm remembering right, I'm trying to see the links right now. Of what they the, the, the twigs, and then they baked it. Cause um, Becky's asking about it. Oh. I like the whimsical look of the, um, of the wafer though. Yeah. yeah. It is super nice. I love wafer paper. You can do so much. And now I'm just going crazy. Details <laughs> or laces or, you know. But yeah, this is basically, basically it. So it's something different that you can achieve with some beautiful uh, sugar sheet printed. Yeah. So Becky, just go ahead and just Google um, baked wafer paper, Facebook live icing images, and you should find it. My, it, my internet's being weird because it's not coming up. Lori may post it because she, uh, she can see it. She, yeah, she's really good at finding those things. <laughs> now I can just like, Adding, you know, the, the inner soul or the inner level, label, and oh, yeah. inside. And that's it. So we have a nice shoe. So you can see this is rice. This is our. And rice. you can make it. You can make them different, um, like you made them different sizes there and different oh, yeah. shapes because oh, you're, yeah. you're creating the mold for yourself with the Rice Krispie treat. Exactly. But in this case, I want to say that, are you ready? Oh, no. Is it real cake? Is it cake? Oh, it's cake. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, if you've watched the Is It Cakes, 
the money that they make, all the images, they're all our stuff. Amazing. I think it's so cool. Yeah, so super, super cool. Yeah. So I hope you like it. I hope everyone likes it. Oh my gosh, we got a lot of people. I know. Thank you, 